with this will probably be in March, right, Miss Parker? I think so. Well, Watch for the Hook Wednesdays is coming to you live and in effect. It's Michael hey, with. Hey, it's Tatiana. But hold on. What happened? Is it March? Well, yeah, when this one come out, it'll be March, Miss okay. Parker. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, right. uh, Black History Month, one of the, short, the shortest oh, month the ever. <laughs> you know, that was... you know, you only get like three, four weeks and it's done. No, he's reducing. <laughs> yeah, we don't get them 31 day months. We get that 27, 28. We always, we always seem to get a reduction in something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to do that. But one thing we ain't going to be reducing y'all on is the input we keep giving y'all at the Watch for the Hook Business and Entrepreneur Podcast, yeah, available right. on all major platforms. Yeah, that's right. Check us out. But you know what? Before we even keep talking about that, I'm just going to go and let you know. Mm-hmm. With our video, right? I don't know what we over here looking like because... <laughs> We don't got a camera flipped. Who uh, our our videographer, uh, uh, executive <laughs> producer Tal, you done messed us up. Yeah, we just realized that I was trying to look at myself, and I'm like, you know what, I can't. We fly blind today, Miss Fly blind. We gonna see how this thing turn out. <laughs> well, regardless if you're flying blind, what we gonna talk about today is nurturing your business. Ain't do that blind. You can start out blind. But the part about nurturing your business is you got to get some sight in. Well, you know, because I'm quick to point out to people you over here playing blind. <laughs> playing blind, doing business blind. Sam, you got your blue blockers on. I'll point it out in a minute. That, what does that mean? That means you seeing what you want to see or you see or you not seeing what you don't want to see. Sometimes it's called, you know, in, in hearing, it will be you got selective hearing. So people got selective nurturing in their business. Yeah, selective vision. Yeah, because we looking at things and like Ms. Ms. Park always talked about, you know, we started Watch for Hook in 2019. You can always come by www.watch for the number four the hook.com. Yep, that's right. Check out our latest apparel. And what we're talking about when it's about nurturing your business is giving it something to help it grow. Yeah. I mean you got to. Yeah, you have to. Just like a, we talked about earlier, it's like it's like a baby. A uh, child. You got to yeah. give it something to help it grow, prosper, get bigger, get stronger. And then mm-hmm. at one point in time, to be able to what? Do itself on its own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need some autopilot going. Yeah. Auto to a certain extent. And so when we're talking about nurturing your business, we're talking about this goes from creativity mm-hmm. to investing to financial to However you think that your business needs to move in that right direction, you need to put forth the effort. Yeah, legitimacy. One of our biggest, it. oh, legitimacy, because <laughs> we talk about this all the time. People say, hey, I got a side business. All right. It shouldn't be a side business five to 10 years later. No, I would hope not. I mean, now some people, honestly, some people do that and that's literally all they want. They just wanted to keep it, you know, on the side. And I, you know, that's okay for them. Yeah. That's totally and, okay. And and that's totally fine. There's no knock at that. Nope. But if you're looking at it to expand and to grow. And for most people that I've encountered mm-hmm. and have had conversations with, the goal is for growth. Nurturing. Yeah. Get bigger, yeah. better, stronger. And so even for us, one of the main things we always harp about is doing your research. Yeah. Paying attention to what's actually going on in the world of business as it pertains to your business. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, me and Ms. Parker, 2019, we always see it. The 2024 version of us will tell you we didn't see this in 2019. No. No, no, no. And how did we get here? We nurtured our business. We did. We hit some roadblocks. We hit some potholes. We had some obstacles. We also did what? Put in the effort. We did. We put in the effort. We We nurtured. We cultivated. We made sure we um, fertilized. Put in a lot of work. A lot of work. And one thing about it, if you're passionate about it, if you was one thing we always say, Nobody can love your business more than you. Nope. And if they do, then it's not your business. Yeah. And I mean, some people, a lot of people are calling them now um, passion projects. And and just just to me, from a person, um, you know, through, through grad school, a product of grad school, 
Um, a project has a set beginning and a set ending. That's a project. And a project I, has to come to what? Completion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A project, a passion project. Like it's something I always wanted to do. I embarked on it, completed it. But one thing about a business. You don't want that thing to end. Exactly. So <laughs> even like, no, it's not my passion project. <laughs> in twenty twenty four, people don't realize there are businesses now flourishing that people didn't know about twenty years ago. But yep. they've been in business over 100 plus years. Yeah, wasn't no project for them. Oh, no. It's a business. It's a thing. It's nurturing. It's paying attention to yeah. what's going on. And biggest word I can always think of is evolving. Oh, my God. I was so going to say that word. It's absolutely. Evolution. For mm -hmm. their business. Evolving means you are paying attention. To what is going on in the business world around you and you're adapting and you're changing with the times which means you're nurturing your business because you're paying attention your business has to be business it has to not no project man project means set begin set end and that's the one thing we've looked at you know we're we're coming out of the PPP loan era. I'm, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> 2020 to 2023, business wise, they're going to do case studies in the next 20 plus years. On the kids, too. Yeah. It will be known as the PPP loan era. Yeah. And they're going to go in back and look and see what <clears throat> legitimate businesses access PPP loan money and are still around. And are still around. Yeah. And we figured it out. We seen it. People didn't nurture their business. To be honest, most of them didn't have a business. Mm -hmm. They just took advantage of a situation. Uh, and let's just keep it in the you know. Yeah, that's and, true. Let's just come on, man. People out here were getting 30, 40, 50, 100 plus thousand dollars for a business that didn't even have an EIN or tax number. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm telling you. I don't know, like when you when you filed, if you had to include that. But this is the thing. You also remember when nurturing your business, you legitimize it. Oh yeah, in some yeah, aspects. Yeah, you're right. But even with the PPP, I don't know what that process was as far as when you submit that application. If you had to include that, so if they had to include that, then they did take the step to go and um get an actual number which did make them legitimate now everything else they said was a lie exactly because what's the thing when we when if you anybody like us business owners you're paying attention to the times you're watching the, the news you're watching the feeds and everything when you start seeing people who turned around in less than six months yeah you heard what i said they gone but they got that money. Yeah, they got that money. They, they, honestly, they actually use funds that probably could have been better sourced and or allocated to other businesses that needed it more. Well, what that turned around for me was they didn't nurture their business. No. They didn't put the work in. They, it was fake to start with. Yeah. Like, it wasn't real. It's was like some you knew you could. It was a get quick, get rich quick scheme. And for a lot of people who are out there nurturing their business. Then that piss you off. Yeah, they're sitting in the background. They like, probably got more than you did and your business is real. Exactly. Yeah, that's the whole point. Like, Let me just get to the point. And we're talking about that for those who are nurturing their businesses and those people who are putting in that what we call sweat equity. Yeah. But sweat equity doesn't have a dollar amount. No, it's um invaluable. Exactly. Because your time is the most valuable thing you can never get back. And get that back. And sweat equity is put into that time yeah and so when me and miss parker sitting there talking about you know how to nurture your business we talked about this so many other times doing the research understanding trends looking for the problem that your business is probably trying to solve right 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 and so for like watch for the hook so when i did job you watch for the hook watch for the hook was about message positive message for African Americans who had been knocked down, kicked, downtrodden, who were fed up, who were trying to do better, but sometimes they just couldn't get that extra 
push. Yeah, that's right. They didn't get what? Nurtured. They didn't get that nurturing to get back up. And so that was the problem that Watch for the Hook was looking to solve. Yeah, it was message based. It's uh message based uh inspiration. Yes, motivation. Motive. Yeah, you took the you, you <laughs> took the word motive. Yeah, you're not out there. To, you're not the only one that's that's dealing with it. But you know, we're gonna look at this thing and you know, head on. And so when we think about how <laughs> to nurture our business, one of the main things we also talk about financial capital access. Oh yeah, that's absolutely important. We, we we've talked about this subject a few times, you know. And I have like 12 more of those topics. Like you you can flip that and spin it so many different ways. And because we, it's important. Yeah, because no business runs without financial backing. No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, you got to you got to you got to get it's your pocket. <laughs> it's your pocket. Your bank account, okay. your mama, your sister, your auntie. You did not say your mama. <laughs> your mama. Listen, let, let, come on, man. You both know a bunch of folks have had to ask mama for some money. Choo -choo. That's your mama. And that's just how some business even got started. I want to send my mama a cash app request right now. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. She'll see it and be like, what you need, baby? And be like, what you need? How I send it back? But that's nurturing your business because you ask your mama for some yeah, money. Mom, mama will always still be in. Exactly. And so that's when we're talking about nurturing your business. You got to feed it. You got to help it grow. You got to expand it. Especially when we're talking about expansion. We're talking about Watch for the Hook. We're expanding to a statement baseline coming yep. up this year. Legacy greater than me. And we've talked about this. I think we're going to say this for the second time. The legacy I leave will be greater than me. Yes, right. That's nurturing our business. Because yeah. <laughs> you know why it's nurturing our businesses? Because we're nurturing our babies. Yes, right. We got our babies been in this thing, working with us from the jump. And so that's how you nurture your business. You have to include people. Inclusivity. Inclusivity. You, you go tearing up words. Hey, hey, you got me. You got me. Inclusivity. 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 Thank you. Is a way to nurture your business because you can't exclude people. Well, if you, well, you, well, you probably need to exclude. Well, you got to exclude the negative. You got to exclude the the appropriate people. And for the people who aren't trying to nurture your business, you need to exclude that. There might need to be an exclusion. Don't remove them out the denominator. When you're getting hit with negative feedback, now listen, criticism is one thing. Negativity, negativity, yeah. constant negativity. Yeah, is not nurturing your business. No, that's that, just negative. Exactly. <laughs> and when somebody's come asking you more than twice, three times is a strikeout. If you play baseball, what you doing that for? Why y'all doing this? What's up with that? What they gonna do? Right. Why not? Glad y'all doing it. Or, I mean, if if it's a genuine concern, that's fine. But if it's your sneaky way of trying to figure out some info, then just ask. Exactly. Plus, like I said, me and Ms. Park have been asked more than once. How y'all get your business off the ground? Yeah, we have. Bank of Park. Yeah, that's right. Ms. Parker said, gee, I pulled my pockets out. I had lint. <laughs> but the lint paid the bill. It did. And when there was nobody else to pay the bill, it falls back on. Yeah, it does, and that's how you have to understand what nurturing your business actually is. Because when you look at how it comes to the rock and the road, and they're like, "What do you mean rock and the road?" When you're walking down the road, there's a big ass rock blocking your road. <laughs> you gotta figure out how to keep getting down that road. Yeah, yeah, you do. And there has not been one business. I would say this with all sincerity. There has not been one business ever created that did not have a rock in the road. No. Can't be. Probably not. Somebody can't mm -hmm. tell, but they ain't had no hook. They ain't had no obstacle. They ain't had some in their way right. to stop their business from prospering. And so when we're talking about that type of stuff, we're looking at it as when you come to that hard point, that stop point, where you have to look and figure out how do I keep my business going? You have to figure that out. You do. And you figure that out because you put in the work to nurture your business, 
understand your business. And also you're looking at how other businesses That's right. figured it out. It's a business model. There are things in this world that people think are brand new. <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to say my other statement. Nothing in this world is brand new. Choke just. <laughs> people think they just woke up today and the world was just started. Butter. I thought today was the first to the world that existed. And I am going to the world. And that's great. That's right. I like that energy. That energy about your business. Yeah. But as, as soon as you hit that rock, keep that same energy. That's right. Figure out how to make your business work. Because, like I said, or figure out what works for your business. That too. Mm hmm. Because you got to what they say, you gotta do something. Gotta do something. You gotta what they say, get that thing out. Gotta do something. Because when you're talking about how to nurture my business, if you came and said, Michael Parker, Tatiana Parker, how can I nurture my business? And it's my second week in business, and I ain't done nothing. We will first thing we're gonna tell you is, how do you feel right now? Right. That answer will be paramount to what you do next. Yeah, it'll definitely help determine the avenue and the road or the path that you go down. Next, we're talking about avenue, roads, and path. We're going to tell you podcast money merch. That's right. It's an avenue and a road for those who are thinking about launching or starting their own apparel line. You can talk about www.watchforthehook. Click on the Free, 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 free for the free, free <laughs> podcast money merch call. What we have for you is a 30 minute free call with me and Miss Parker. Yep. And what we're going to talk to you about is what do you see in your vision for what you want to do? And when we do that, we'll figure out if you went to nurturing or not. Right. If you, if you have the, um, the willpower. Yeah, because willpower is nurturing. It is. You got to understand, this stuff, and I'm going to be frank, this shit ain't easy. <laughs> it is not. It's not easy. It's not It's not for the faint of heart. Oh, you said it one more yeah, time. Yeah, it is not for the faint of heart. It is for those who believe in their ability to try. That's nurturing. You yeah. know how you nurture something? You try it. You do. You keep doing it. Yeah, you have to put forth the effort to understand what I tried Tuesday may have went out the door Tuesday night. Right, right. Keep going. By Wednesday or Thursday, you need to figure out how to fix what you missed or what you thought you missed. Or you can just treat it like a, a continuous uh, basketball game. At halftime, make some adjustments. And now you in overtime. Make some adjustments. Make some adjustments. At and, break, make some adjustments. And you got to hit the shit. Make some adjustments. Make it count. Make some adjustments when necessary. Let them folks know they weren't with you when you were shooting in the gym. That's right. And that your negativity don't work for me. Exactly. And so those are lots of ways to understand how to nurture your business. Yeah. It's going to be a continuous road. Yeah. It's going to come with pivots. It's going to come with adjustments. Yeah. <laughs> As Parker said, you have to adapt. You do. The adaptations <laughs> will help your business the nation. in business. Yep. And so when we talk about being in business, and when you talk about nurturing your business, we want you to understand still rule number one, nobody can love it more than you. Nope. Love means nurturing. It does. Nurturing equals love. It does. And so, Ms. Parker, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming on this podcast <laughs> once again <laughs> with me and nurturing our business. You know it. And you I'm going to let you it. have the last words for how to help those people to nurture their business. Don't be afraid in nurturing, right? Yes. Don't be afraid to make adjustments. At the quarter mark, at the half mark, at the three-quarter mark, at the 33.3 percent mark, or well, that's a third mark, right? You're using a mask. 
Don't be afraid to make adjustments. Just make the adjustments. We'll catch y'all next time.